for the members. Greetings, everyone. <laughs> Greetings, Ashiki. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, Empress. You know, hanging in there, hanging yeah. in there. You know, peace, power, and protection. Always. Uh, you know, um, it's a lot going on. It's a lot going on. Let me share my screen too. Um, I'm gonna just start the discussion like I normally started, and like I normally do. I'm gonna just go over some of the posts that I made. And if y'all got anything that y'all want to expound on or talk about, we can. Um, I will expound on the post that I made about um, all of the solar flares and all of that stuff. If anybody want me to, I can talk more deeply about that if you have any questions. So let's see. Where was I at this week? <clears throat> Gotta go down. Forgive my grandson. He thinks he's Godzilla. Y'all, he said he got Zilla. So I have a Spider Man. <laughs> okay, well, you understand, girl. He got him a little tail and everything. He just be <laughs> running around here, jumping off stuff. Talking about, I'm like, oh my god, I love it. I love it. <laughs> they going I'm like, boy, you finna get us put out the complex. They think somebody up here doing something to you. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. Let's start here. So um, a lot's been going on. Y'all been doing really good with putting, like, it's a lot of pictures in the chat of the different sightings of, like, celestial bodies and the extra bodies and stuff that people are seeing. But this right here really caught my attention um, because it's, like, the third or fourth time that I'm seeing this type of um, picture. So what called my attention to it is because it's a double halo. If you look at it, it's like a double halo, which to me means that it's more than one light source there for real now. Like, and it's a stronger light source than even our sun. Because if you look, the sun is making a little ring, but then you see a big one outside of it. And like, you can see that the sky is all of these colors, right? Straight plasma energy. So I was looking at that. And of course, I've been looking at like the auroras and all of that type of stuff we've been talking about. And so then the solar flares are getting stronger, y'all. Are y'all aware of that? Like we've been keeping up with that in the group. So they at like a 8.9. That's what they telling people or whatever. But I've always talked about that our cells are releasing cosmic energy too um, and doing mass ejections. And that's also speeding up the energy around us because you got to think about our bodies and our magnetism. See, we got to start looking at ourselves as what's seen and then what's felt, you understand, or what's unseen to the eye but still there. So what's still there for us is we electromagnetic beings, right? So our magnetism is what's unseen with the visible eye, but can be felt. And everybody know that's the truth, because when you walk in a room, some people can't blend. You could just immediately people, you understand, that's your auric field, that's your magnetism. So in this time or whatever, it's really deep because you basically seeing the spot, sped up protons coming through what they call them was the ozone layer or whatever, but that was just a layer that was part of the Saturn moon matrix. Y'all got to enter and understand. It's designed to bring souls in, but souls can't get out. And the ozone layer was blocking the UV radiation from coming to the earth. Now, why is that bad for a cosmic being? Because we feed off of UV radiation. Our planet was a hydrogen-based planet. Inorganic beings need the ozone layer because they don't have a layer of melanin, the type of melanin that they need in order to protect them from the radiation. They can't feed off of the radiation. They're going to burn it's going to kill them. It's going to cause cancer. But for us, radiation actually heals our cells and gives us power. We different. 
So that's where I'm picking up this lecture from right here as well. What I was saying, it actually wasn't a lecture. It was um, something that I just, you know, said on my story. And then I made it into a reel because I was like, you know what, this is important. And I want people to understand what's happening right now. Because I feel like a little bit that they got a fear campaign on us with the sun. <clears throat> And if you in fear, then that closes off you from being able to activate fully. So we not in fear because we know what the sun is doing for us or what we is doing and projecting. That's what I'll say. So I'm going to start off with this one. And then if y'all have any questions, we can get into them. This is part one. tribe if you know you know they can't take that cosmic radiation so first it was the corona virus right and now since we know that the coronavirus wasn't infective no more than a common cold now they want to scare the hell out of everybody with the bird flu look here if your cells ain't right they finna have to fight that's just straight up and down if you eat and stuff with toxins in it and coating yourself with animal fat, you're going to come down with sickness. There's no such thing as a virus. There's no such thing as a virus. There's only bacteria and there's only parasites. Your cells are breaking down. Those cell materials, they're reading those cell materials on the outside of your cells and they're telling you it's a viral particle. No, sir. No, ma'am. It's never been proven never and if you think it's a game it's not because all of these viruses they got computer programs that build have to build the backbones of these viruses you can look up a computer program on google it's called n -Sil. i'll give you that n s i l look that up on google if you think i'm bullshitting any other type of disease you can trace back without having to build anything. If you say it's a bacteria, I can find a bacteria. If you say it's a proteinaceous particle, I can find that. But a virus is the only thing that they need a computer program to generate. Tell me why is that? If somebody can explain that to me, that'll be the day that I believe that viruses exist. But what I do know is that your cell wall exists. And I do know that your cell wall breaks down under stress, and disease and then let me take it on another level for all the cosmic beings if you go back and you look at the holographic projection of ourselves that people seeing as the sun you can see it's a double halo effect because we getting our halo back because the planet is being hit with protonate proton particles protons highly sped up protons and now we are able to absorb those protons and radiate out a magnetism and those magnetisms is what people call chakra auras or whatever but that all comes from one light one light source that's being fed right now and then that is projecting from ourselves and that is what is increasing the frequency and the magnetism around this whole planet because we interact with everything around this planet because we are literally nature it's not a game I say y'all got any questions on that that first part no I see and feel all these changes, like, within myself, within my, like, my household. So when you always come and you put, like, the science to it, it sort of connects to me what I'm at, like, because I'll be viewing things and I'm, I'll notice things, you know what I mean? And then you'll come with a reel or something and I'm like holy crap <laughs> this is exactly what is you know what I mean occurring mm -hmm. so I get it 
and I see it. Oh, shit. You know, it's a beautiful time to be alive right now for us. <clears throat> and, you know, for us, it really is like the separation and the split is occurring. And you can see it happening to us in real time. Like you could feel the physical changes. You yes. could feel the, the spiritual changes. And it's just like the synchronicity. It's like I'm in a, a, a state of synchronicity right now. Meaning like it's almost like my thoughts manifest rapidly or if I'm thinking about something, the answer will come to me or it'll come to a deeper level. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll be thinking about one thing, like maybe the Congo or something and, you know, thinking about my records of Akash and it'll be somebody's post or something that'll come up and it'll be talking about something about the history or something. And it'll just give me that extra I don't know, um, confirmation, I guess I would say. And it's coming from a lot of spiritual people too. You understand what I'm saying? But it's also coming from just all kind of different sources, like the AI and everything. It's like everything is hitting for me right now in the synchronicity of everything. Like I'm putting stuff together and stuff is just coming together. The information in a way that I'm seeing stuff way different. So I shade. Um you know I just think that for us it's no information that's hidden from us right now. It's all in you and what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like how far you want to go. Like do you want to activate your crown? Do you want to be it's like whatever I think program you want to run for yourself right now to just say it like that like whatever you put in your mind right now you gonna become and that's what's causing the split because you got some people that's so caught up on the material world you understand and maybe those people is really NPCs or don't exist because I really feel like if you spiritual right now like if you a cosmic being the way this energy hit and it's not even giving you a choice but to ascend like you don't even have a choice in the matter no more I feel it's just like a process that's just happening within some of us and you just got to go with it because it's like it's not giving you an option right now to decide if you want to eat that piece of steak like for me if I eat that piece of steak I'm finna be sick I'm finna be broke out I'm finna be in hives like it's almost like certain things it's not even giving me an option to even do that anymore you understand where i'm going like yes and it's happening that's what i'm saying like even i see it with like my household none of us can and then even like and none of us like decide it you know oh we're not going to eat meat anymore you know what i mean mm -hmm. but it's like from my household can't handle it my daughter, my daughter that doesn't live, they can't handle it. My mother's household, she can't handle it. And these are not people that, you know what I'm saying? Like is spiritual I, in any way. Um, you know what I mean? That even mm -hmm. thinks of anything, but they just, their bodies can't eat it. They can't handle it. Uh, I'm with you, Empress. And I'm noticing that about people too. Like, I'll be seeing people posting stuff or whatever, and they're not spiritual at all, but they ascending. Facts. Like, physical stuff, physical manifestations of the ascension. Or, like, my daughter, for instance, like, somehow she, well, I know how, you understand. She done tapped her records of Akash. So anything she start talking about, she just get this super blast of freaking energy, I mean, information from nowhere. So um, she was talking to her friends the other day and somehow the conversation got about because a lot of the soldiers here, y'all, they sending them all over. So they was trying to send, they sent her friend getting ready to go to Japan. And so a lot of the melanated um, soldiers here, they sent it to Japan. Now, y'all know Japan is shaking and everything, right? 
they they these soldiers ain't aware of like none of the world stuff that's going on over there as far as the natural disasters, right? So my daughter over there and she started talking to him. And then she was like, somehow she went into a whole conversation about the tectonic plates and how Japan was shifting and it was on this certain plate. And then she talking about she was talking about the new Madrid fault line. Oh, and then she was <laughs> like, I don't know how I know that information or even know what the new Madrid, what the name of the fault line was until I said it. She was like, it's weird as fuck. You understand what I'm saying? But I'm like, it is like weird. Like it's almost like like when this shit like <laughs> um also um in J- in Japan, um, you know, they they the woman can't have babies, so now they're paying melanated people to come and have babies with them. So that's probably why they're sending those melanated soldiers over there as well come on with it empress come on with it but you know i was like you know it's a double pronged sword because all of the prime minister and all of them like two three years ago everybody stepped down from japan before all of these earthquakes and stuff start hitting and i was like bro you ain't never seen the government everybody in the government stepped down and you don't know where none of them motherfuckers at no more you understand then all of these natural disasters and stuff start hitting. And I really thought about it. You know, the Japanese and the Chinese sending the people with money that they want to live right here through our border, yo. They already look true. Going down over there in an the ugly fashion. Y'all could go in the current events and look at some of them natural disasters that's happening all over there. You got all of them people from all over in Milan, Italy, and everything. In 2020, I was telling people that they was already had was putting them up. Now they putting the immigrants up. You understand? But some of them Chinese and all of them is the damn people that's illegally flooding the border, y'all. So I think the people that's left over there are too poor to flee. And they're going to send them soldiers right over there to die. Because think about it, y'all. They don't want a strong, melanated man to be alive. I'm just... They don't want nobody, no melanated man alive that might have a war strategy or that might could protect the homeland. You need all of them gone so you could bring your Chinese people over here to procreate with the women that's over here with all the codes. That's the way I'm looking at it. It's a setup within a setup, y'all. It's a China always knew their land was getting ready to get shifted up. That's why they fucking with our government now. You know, they infiltrated our government and stuff. All of them bills ain't benefiting us. Everything that they doing benefiting China right now. We printing money at an exponential rate for wars that we done funded. China making money off of them wars too. While we over here fighting and spending all of this money and getting all of this money embezzled from us through the fake war, because it ain't really no war going on, in and overstand. China is taking and sending their people in through our borders that they want to live, and they done infiltrated our government. And now and then the WHO going to pass all of those laws, if you think about it, to override our Constitution. Then we'll be on, under one world government. This is their plan. It ain't working, but I'm just telling you, this was the plan. Sad situation. But this brings me to this next post because what people need to enter and understand, they always try to draw people to Africa. If y'all ever realize that, they always try to tell us that we from Africa. Go back to Africa. You need to go to Africa. All of them people, if you look like, go to uh, this dude on YouTube. I was following him or whatever. 
his his page called Go Black to Africa. Like it was a couple of them people that was like really hard pushing that diaspora movement. Everybody come over there. Do you know all them people that cleared it out and they ain't over there no more? They going to other places and stuff, talking about why they work out. Of course it ain't work out because that bitch under all kind of natural disasters, bro. And fucking mass fucking killings and shit going on over there. It's all kind of war on that land and shit. They wanted all them people to go over there because that's not the man. That land, if that was the main land that controlled the magnetism of this earth, they would have took it all the way. They had to come over here last. Do you understand what I'm saying? You got to take the strongest last. We was the last to get conquered, motherfucker. They was over there. They already done done all they wanted to do over there. Done put in the bloodlines that they want to to run the government. They already done got their system straight over there. Trust me, I know it, bro. They over here now because this is what's getting ready to control everything because this is the original land. This is where all the thinkers was at. The people that was really in the spirituality, the higher thought and everything like that. And then that radiated everywhere else. And then we fanned out everywhere else, but the lands was all connected. That's what people don't get. You understand what I'm saying? So you can't really say one faction is older than the other because that's not true. But you can say where the first rose from and we own the original land that first rose. And this is facts. And people could say what they want to say, but here goes some proof of that. Because the earth has shifted many, 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 many times. Many, many times, okay? Many times. You know them pyramids that they building over there fake. Why? Because they keep on having to construct them. They told you that they moved them, them big ass uh, pharaohs, them shits look like they laser printed. I want people to just wake up. Because they giving you a false reality, bro. Because all the real pyramids still exist. And they still here and under the fucking water. And this is facts. And they still operate, too. I just want people to understand that. Like, that technology still operates. And that technology is becoming active right now. So the way that they're trying to hit those towers and hit all of these underground installations that we have is with the fucking 5G and all of this Wi-Fi and all of that shit to try to fuck up the grid. But now they're getting hit two ways, y'all. They're getting hit with the plasma energy up there, but then we hitting them down here too. And it's causing that grid, the ozone and everything to collapse. And ain't nothing hitting us now but plasma rays, y'all. I'm telling you what's going on so you can understand. So those temples activating down there. What happened when pipes get unleashed? What happened when something was clogged, when energy was clogged, and now it can activate? You're going to have the earthquakes. You're going to have the shifts. You're going to feel shit rumbling under your feet, some shit in the move, water getting ready to start moving again because that shit went off hydropower and ether, bruh, up under with the earth, up under what they built up over it. They put the concrete over it, y'all, to stop the magnetism. This is what I'm telling you. That's why all them cities going to go because what's under it is getting ready to take it. And this is just some proof, y'all, that there's stuff up under stuff, y'all, up under water, up under buildings that we in right now. It's up under. To find out a whole bunch of things that have been covered up around America. The Egyptian sphinx out in Arkansas, another Egyptian sphinx is in California. Pyramid Lake actually has a real pyramid in California right here. The real Stonehenge structure is under Lake Michigan. Volume 2 Encyclopedia Britannica 1768 says the Red Sea is in California. Isis Temple can be found in the Grand Canyon. There are more than 20 Egyptian temples found in the Grand Canyon. Montezuma Ruins is found in the Grand Canyon. The government flooded Lake Lanier. The Army of Corps of Engineers flooded Lake Jordan. There's a whole missing city under Los Angeles, right here, under here. There's a whole columns and buildings under Los Angeles, right off the beach. The government flooded.
he could have kept going, y'all. I'm sitting right here, right now, here in Augusta, over here in the Keystone Mountains, the Indian burial grounds right here, and the pyramids. This pyramids over here, y'all. People just think it's a hill. They don't even understand that the most ancient structures was mounds. And you know what they got over here to try to hold down this energy, y'all, right over here in Augusta? A fucking nuclear power plant. And a big-ass fucking NORAD tower that's on a fucking water. It looked like a water tower. I think I told y'all about that, but it's got all of the shit coming out of it and all of the, um, what is it, the solar panels and stuff. You know it's not that. It's a fucking NORAD tower, y'all. They just be sending radiation. So that's why I be cutting my Wi-Fi and everything off at night, y'all, because they're attacking us at night, too, with the radiation. So sometimes that's what be waking you up, too, is your org defense going up because they sending microwaves to us in our sleep. Shit too real. Any questions so far? No, I don't have any. All right. So let's move forward. So basically in my little talk, I was like discussing these slides or whatever that I have went through. You understand? Because organic chemistry, you understand, it's really, if you really want to know, it's the chemistry of our organs. You understand? It's the chemistry of any organic beings. So if you really want to know like the composition of us, the chemical reactions in our body that take place, you have to look at organic chemistry, but you have to also enter and understand that they have done some things to organic chemistry too, to, you understand, throw you off to try to make their body's chemistry seem right or, and or, not giving you the true meaning of what the organic chemistry was. Like they will have you associate certain stuff with a chemical compound, not realizing that you is the chemical compound that the organic chemistry was started from. Cause that's why we study those chemicals because there was the chemicals that made up our body. And we knew that that was part of metaphysics. You understand what I'm saying? Playing with protons and stuff. So I went into, in the discussion, the chemical formula for our melanin and the carbons and the hydrogens, like, it's important because the more carbons that you have on that structure, the more different ways that it could rotate light. So if you rotate in light, what do that mean? That means you're moving what protons. You're moving energy photons over and understand. So carbon forms something called isotopes. Those isotopes are ways that even though it has a certain amount of atomic number, it can pull more protons on it. It can become charged. So our melanin, when we get in the sun and in the UV, UV has photons in it, photons of light energy, UVA, UVB, and then you have UVC. UVC is the fastest form of that photon, okay? Now, the ozone layer, because I got to break this down for y'all to help y'all enter and understand. The ozone layer that was over us was blocking out UVA, UVB, and definitely UVC. It was a little bit of UVA that was getting through. And now that the ozone layer is failing, those particles, those charged protons are coming into us. So what our melanin does is when those protons hit us, right, we absorb it, especially, you know, you absorb in UVB when you get a suntan, because that's the one that really affects the melanin that causes us to get darker. But what they don't talk about is the fucking UVC, y'all. That's the most powerful one. They'll scare you and they'll tell you that that shit will cause cancer. But let me tell you something. It causes cancer in them. It don't cause cancer in us because of this brilliant molecule right here. 
when we get those extra photons, when we get those extra photons, our melanin reconfigures and begins to rotate those photons as energy. It changes the configuration, y'all. You'll see yourself tan, but you also taking those protons and you feed in something called your electron transport chain. And every organ in your body has melanin. But when UVC go to hit in your melanin, it also hits your neuromelanin. So what is neuromelanin? It's the chemical compound of melanin that's in your brain, in your dorsal root ganglia, all of this shit back here that makes you everything. Your, it, it determines everything. You understand how fast you can run, all of your physical, um, man, everything, pretty much how fast you can heal because it's your nervous system. You understand what I'm saying? And it also affects how fast you can process information and stuff like that because it's your nerves you understand the faster your nerves can fire you understand the faster you can process energy the faster your body can heal because it could sense that you hurt quicker you understand what i'm saying the more deeply you could taste the more deeply you could smell then you could start to feel stuff with your magnetism y'all pick up what i'm saying because you rotate and proton not only on the inside, but the outside around you because your melanin is feeding off of the damn protons around you that's in the form of the UV. So just follow me now. So once you do that, you understand what I'm saying? It becomes a part of your metabolism, y'all. It's like every essential function in your body basically is sped up. And when that happens, you could heal faster, all kind of stuff. You could think better. You understand both the, all of your neurons is linked, literally. You understand what I'm saying? You know how they told you that you only use 10% of your brain. That's a lie. You understand what I'm saying? The people that was only using 10% of their brain was because their brain wasn't firing the circuits. You understand? But now that we got more energy, you understand that could be exchanged there. You understand it's going to light up more parts of your brain where those neurons that enter and overstand and then your pineal and all of that type of stuff. And you got to think about it. Those protons go on to your blood cells, your red blood cells. That's how they get around your body and everything. So everything is all linked together. So once we start getting that energy, y'all, Six protons, six neutrons, six electrons. Those protons will go up to eight protons, nine protons, 10 protons. And then they just got extra positive charges to just go around your body and just give you energy and heal you. Because the only reason why you get disease is why? A breakdown of energy. When your cells lose energy, that's when they begin to die. So if you are always, always charged up, you understand what I'm saying? Then you don't die. You understand what I'm saying? You could take on the negative energies. You can clear them out. You can neutralize stuff. If you think about it like this, what destroys our bodies is free radicals. Free radicals are particles that have a negative charge on them. So protons have a positive charge. Just think about it like that. So your blood can literally heal you because the extra protons in it can bind up them negative radicals, free radicals in your body. That's the alkalinization of the blood, enter and overstand and heal you. You see where I'm going with this? Like it's all literally linked for us. But they don't break down the chemistry of our body the way it should. They just give it to you in little parts and little pieces. And then it's hard to piece together what's really going on in us. So that was just me talking about showing about the radiation from the sun pretty much. And I ain't going to get into that. It's deep. But you're the one whose body you want to. But that was basically like the breakdown of what I was trying to explain about our carbon in a nutshell without going like too, too crazy with it. And I think Taz picked it up too 
on there and he was um talking about some of that too so i just wanted to you know iterate that because i want people to like understand from a scientific perspective too what we going through because you know sometimes people be trying to act like it's no scientific basis for what we're saying or you understand what i'm saying no it's it's scientific basis for everything you understand you just got to go back to the science and break it down the way that we taught it to each other and not what they came and did to it to confuse us you understand what i'm saying it's my thoughts on that any questions I so, agree. Okay. All right. Wonderful. Wonderful. If y'all do have any questions about what I just said about the carbon, y'all could definitely put it in the chat. Um, so this right here is a post that was on fizz.org. And you know, if y'all got time, that's a good page to follow. I follow them and I follow science direct. I like because I like to watch them because they be telling us would be going on but a lot of people just don't follow like those type of you know journal articles you know what I'm saying a lot of people don't but they be putting the truth right in your face so basically this article rock solid evidence Angola geology reveals prehistoric split between South America and Africa it was all connected, bro. We'd have been saying this forever, but I guess now they want to go ahead and hit people with it for sure. Like, that's so important right there, though, because you got to realize, like, if you think about South America, the Omic and all of that, they basically telling you it was all a basin right there, right? They're basically telling you it was all connected right there. So it wasn't no far amount of travel. You understand what I'm saying? For us to go, you understand? And it's still not far for us to go to Africa is what they be making it seem. You understand what I'm saying? I think parts of the Caribbean, one of my, um, somebody in the group was like, you could almost see Africa like it's uh, a shelf or something forming back where you could then go almost walk back to across to it. So the thing about it is, is I think that this is important because if they starting to talk about the origins, it kind of explains a lot because when they explain that, what they tried to say, but this is how you know it's the same land, but something catastrophic had to happen to the Africa side. Because y'all know the Sahara dust that they tell you that comes up, right? That dust over there. It causes all of the hurricanes and the storms, but now the land, it's done shifted. It's going the other way now, but I'm just saying this to say that. Do you know that they said that that dust comes and blows over to South America? Now listen to this. And because of that dust, that is what causes South America to have all of its lush deserts and everything like that. The mineral nutrients that's in the Sahara dust. So I'm like, if that's the case, then them lands have to be, had to be intersected at one point. And then you have to ask yourself this question, what the fuck happened to the Sahara? Because if those was connected, you know, it couldn't have been a plush florist over here and all what happened. Like all that sand just pop up out of nowhere. You understand what I'm saying? Like, no, but for yeah. real. You got people buried over there in real time. You got bodies, all kind of shit. What the fuck happened over there? Nobody never, you know, asked the real, the real questions. What the fuck happened over here to cause that big ass desert area right there where all of our ancient temples and shit was? You know, it had to be lust vegetation and shit there for all of that stuff. Ain't nobody going to have no temple and ain't no water. That's why I'm like, Vegas, they done put a city right there on top of one of our ancient structures. They ain't just picked that area for no reason. 
if you really think about it. And that's why the water and shit coming back there because everything was hydropower, y'all. I promise you, I ain't playing. That water always flowed through there. She getting real. It's getting ready to get real, y'all, because that water got to come back. All of them dams, all of that shit that they done built, all them bridges and stuff and shit, they got all that concrete. It's going to go, and it's going to go in a fierce, ferocious way because you got to really think about how that energy done been bottled up under there. Just think about how powerful this energy is, y'all. Like, them temples is powerful. Like, those temples is powerful, y'all. I that's the best way I could say it. I can't even really describe those temples because it's kind of like, but some of y'all maybe done had visions of maybe being in them, but them temples was like, you had to have a certain type of DNA or just structure to even be able to get in one because it'll vibrate you so much. Like it it could vibrate you to another dimension. Like, the harmonic in them things is really real. So you got to think about all that energy. And now it's starting to feed back off of the plasma energy. And it can't get up, y'all. It can't get up and project like it's supposed to. So with any closed system, if you feed it and feed it and feed it, eventually it's going to do what? Blow. It has to bust through. It has to. It's got to. It's already doing that shit in the ocean, yo. One of them temples that activated in the ocean, you got waves fucking Africa up right now. All of that stuff, because that shit's down there, yo. I promise you it's shit up under that water, yo. And they know it, and they know it. You understand? But they ain't gonna tell nobody. I mean, because then if they told people, what can you do for them, though? That, that was the question I came to, like, I was looking at the people dying in Milan right now, and I really thought about it. And I'm like, what can you do for the? You can't, like, you know, certain areas gonna go, but where where were you gonna put the people? Who gotta make that decision? You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, too real. Like. That's the stuff I be thinking about now. Like, I be really on some humanitarian stuff. Like, and then I just realized, I'm like, it's no such thing as death. You understand, like, people look at death as the end, but it's really the beginning. I'm like, you know, everything got a choice and got a cycle. You understand? And it's some shit that's finna go. And I'm just looking at certain places, like the water just getting higher, higher, higher. I know y'all see that, y'all. Like, in my post certain areas i just hit the same areas like i always have been up in italy england over there in turkey you understand i always hit them areas i show y'all so man that water high 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 down in south america that water now they up there drowning and shit man and they still there bro what else more can you say like it's finna go can't nobody stop it from going and if you gonna stay there Maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. You understand? Like, I don't know. I just don't question stuff as much as I used to anymore because I know that it's a divine order to everything, everything. And I think that that's a part of acceptance. You understand? And acceptance of the beauty of the cycle of life. You understand what I'm saying? Like, Maybe it's somebody's time to experience something different. You understand, like, who am I to be trying to stand in somebody's way? Like, maybe that's their experience is to have that experience and to, you know, cross on. Like, I just, I don't know. It's just like, it's getting, it It was hard for me at first, you know, beginning to see all of this stuff and, and like, really trying to tell people like hey get out the way and then seeing like ain't nobody really getting out the way like you just talking for no reason but then you know now I think I'm just getting to a point of acceptance y'all I just ain't questioning it no more I'm just like you know it is what it is you understand like it's gotta go the way it's gotta go and that's just the way it's gonna be Hmm. Any thoughts? I 
all right well we got this empress right here and she talking about the dark feminine energy i thought her post was brilliant you know because i think that like they trying to take occultism mainstream and i'm like listen the type of spirituality that i practice this ain't no mainstream no trending this is really real for me you understand like this is really my ancestors like you can't talk about occult or spirituality and leave out the dark the dark feminine you just can't my ancestors was the first so how can you be like you understand it's you it could never have been you i'm sorry but just, just i'm just telling y'all what it is and what it ain't ain't but so much far you could feel it and ain't but so much far you gonna be able to do it unless you was a dark feminine for real unless you got this cosmic ex that came first you could talk about it and you could beatbox on the track but it ain't you and it ain't but such a level you can go to and you know it's just like how can you pay homage to our craft but then want to neglect who was the originators of that craft and why it even came about and what it's about really because if you really want to talk about occultism you got to talk about the melanated woman because that is all that it is it's how we use our magnetism to affect the earth right and it's individual magnetism and i feel like they're trying to put like an instruction manual on it and what works for you may not work for me like it's all individual you know what i mean that's why when i see it i'm like how could you even like i don't know so i've always stayed away from it because that whole instruction manual sort yeah. of thing that they're trying yeah. to and i'm like that's impossible but this one. Mm. Ah, Shay Empress, I feel the same way as you. It is impossible. Like, and even when I have like the, you know, the occult group and I do, you know, the magical discussions, I tell everybody from the gate, like, listen, just because it's a way, it got you gotta make it your way. Like everybody an individual soul and everybody got individual magnetism and nobody magnetism is a light because it's really based on your genetics, bro. And every genetic is different. I don't care who you is. You could even be a twin. You ain't got the exact same genetics as your twin. They tell you that shit, but it's a lie. You understand? You ain't an exact carbon copy. You understand what I'm saying? So in the soul, you know you ain't an exact carbon copy as your twin, because usually you or your twin is exact opposites. You know what I'm saying? Or something. Like most twins that I know, you could tell them apart once you get to know them. You understand what I'm right. saying? Like, I have first cousins that are twins, and right. they look at, like you could, yeah, they're two totally different people. So they look different if you know them. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. They have their different nuances and everything. So nothing is alike. So that's what I'm saying. Like, you can't, man, these people got, it's like they trying to do a one-stop, which, um, I hate to just say it because I don't even like the word witch, but it's almost like a one-stop, uh, instant, uh, instant spell worker or something like it's like they got a uh a spell worker manual to do tarot right uh, it's weird right and I'm yeah, like, yeah. like do a tarot happen? do it's astrology know a little bit about astrology burn some sage i'm finna th do um the little meditation and peace love and light and that's that that's what they think is a girl that's interesting it was like the way I realized that it was like pieces of my life is when like, cause I always heard the words, I didn't eat, like, it was just things that we just, you know, it's just things that you do and mm -hmm. you're taught from a child, like, and you just do it. So mm -hmm. I learned that for me, what they call meditation is there was time, like periodically we had to go in our room and talk to ourselves. But yeah. my, they never said, go meditate, children. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's just like, wow, you guys are putting all these terms on, you know, my grandmother always, she would just like certain certain spices, she would just burn. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. 
it's weird mm. the way they're trying mm. to you know but you didn't have to use the same she didn't use the same thing every single time so how are you putting these two make this and then this makes that that's in like i don't know it's just weird this is the whole <laughs> point like this is the whole point empress you just hit on something real deep i say and i'm glad you said that because this is realer than real who categorizing a crystal telling you this gem do this, this gem do that? Right. Man, I mean, he never done that. You program it to do what you want yes. it to do. Bruh. And that's the way, and that's when I realized, okay, you know, they're just trying to lay, put labels on things that I do in my life and sell mm -hmm. it. But then Thank I'm like, you. it's not even authentic. It's not even like, it's not real so i just turned my back to it like it's it's another form of you trying to patent what i am it's like you don't even have the level to understand what spirituality is so you trying to put a term on it so you could fit it in a category what can't be explained and what can't right. be put in a category because you trying mm -hmm. to tell me that I need a, a rock of tourmaline to protect myself. But I'm trying to tell you I could take a simple rock out there off the street and it'll do the same thing. Or I don't need a rock. I can program my mind. You understand what I'm saying? Like right. they try to I could think us. what I want to happen. Yeah, so like I, it's so well, it's so commercial now. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm like, you can't commercialize something that's real for some of us like something that is really a part of us and you trying to put terms on it like at first i know what clear audience all of that type of stuff me we ain't call it that shit you I'm know still what i'm learning. saying <laughs> and i'm still learning you understand what i'm saying you know um but we had different like our my grandma, my granny had different ways of describing stuff. Like I had told people, like I grew up in a house where I ain't think it was a cult until they said it was a cult shit. I thought everybody grew up like that. You understand? Right. That That's the way they stuff. had us thinking. So you don't yeah. talk about what you do because everybody does it. So what's the point of talking about it? Yeah. <laughs> And so that's, I didn't know it was until I think I was watching a show. I'm like, this, because I do this every day. But it's like the way they be describing it, they be watering it down and turning it into some like something you could sell. And I'm like, bro, that ain't the way it go, bro. Like, you know, yeah. you don't just get no little box and put a candle in it and, and some herbs and tell somebody to go burn it and it's going to do something. Like, that ain't even the way it roll. Like, Mm -hmm. mm -hmm, y'all it's you like know. flattering but not flattering you know what i yeah. mean like when you really look at it i'm like okay it's flattering but it's a little weird you know it's like it's, it's too much <laughs> it's almost like honestly y'all i'm gonna say it and i mean this it's like y'all want the culture but y'all don't want the black woman to come with it let's say it y'all want y'all want that aspect or wish you could have that aspect of what we the are result. But you, they want the, the result. result but you don't want to have the melanated woman as the supreme holder of all of that knowledge because you they will have to admit that we have something that they can never do like It'd be like stuff that like I can't explain. Like, let me tell like this is for an example. Like, and I ain't trying to knock nobody, but like when they be like, oh, I'm on the 25th dimension, the 16th dimension, I'm like, huh? All oh, that confused me too. Oh, <laughs> I was my just like, God. Hey, nobody what the ever hell? told me where I be. Like, I don't even know where the fuck I be at when I be in the astral plane. I'm just there. I'm like, when did we start labeling? Uh huh. That's the type of stuff I'm it's talking hilarious. about. Like, where did you get this from? I'll tell you, I just turned my back. Like, some of the things, you know what I mean? It was just like. <laughs> I'm like. If Oh, I be in the astral plane in my dream, and I just be like, "Oh, I'm on the twentieth dimension." Now, like, nigga, you don't even 
Like, like tomorrow, what? I'm going to go to the 28th. Like, what? Like, what? It's hilarious. I'll be like, I come, I come back here and I'll be like, where the fuck was I? What did I do? Oh, my gosh. And start going over it in my head. I don't know where I'll be. I don't know where I be at, y'all. I just be somewhere, okay? I'm not that and I'm good. Doing something. Like I don't know where I be. That's the whole point. Like that, I'm like, how is y'all even yeah. talking about? I don't know what y'all talking about, bro. Ain't nobody up there counting. <laughs> What's <the problem? laughs> Yeah, that. So about? it's like those little things. You know that a person. It's like it's that's when I go into okay, I'm flattered, but it's a little weird. You know what Man, I mean? Like you can't never feel triggers. it. You can't never feel it. Nigga, you ain't got these four <laughs> yeah. ether locks, bruh. You can't go by late and feel them goosebumps in your locks just go woo woo and you know something else. You that ain't you. Right. And see how I was tricked in life was I thought everybody again, like I said. You don't talk about it because you just think everybody is the same. So mm-hmm. as I'm like, wait a minute, that don't happen. Yet? Wait, it don't happen. You know what I mean? Like everybody, mm-hmm. wait a second. Oh my goodness. Holy crap. And that's how I came into just like, I'm about to really learn, learn, learn myself because y'all out here got me thinking everybody the same, you know, what they push mm-hmm. on you and not mm-hmm. that one is better than the other or whatever, but I'm different than you people. Way everybody, <laughs> like, every melanated goddess is different. I'm trying to tell you, ain't none of us alike, bro. We all got the power from the, the power, but it's going to come out and manifest in different ways. And you definitely can't be right. listening to them people because they can't even feel it. Bro, they don't even, man, they don't even have a clue. This is what I'll be saying. I'm like, you trying to pull something that's not even in this dimension and explain it with terms that's here. The unexplainable. Exactly. Like, like, if I'm there and I can't, like, I, I can't put words on certain things that I'm trying to say, where did you get this dictionary from? So you, can I use it? <laughs> For real. For real, child, when was you up there mapping it? Because, honey, <laughs> okay, I don't know what the hell be going on. All I know is I'm there. You understand? It's so like, funny. it's really real. Yeah, it's really it, real. Like, it is. It when is. I be having them experiences with my ancestors, just um, like the other day, y'all, I swear, have y'all been experiencing the instant bliss? Like, they just hit you with the instant bliss. I've been so, let me tell you, like a week ago, I said to my boyfriend, I was like, I feel like I've been hot, straight high for like, like I said, you know, like that first time you ever hit weed, I said, I know what they be talking about. The the fiends now when I want that first hit, because Mm -hmm. yo, I was on a first hit for like six days straight. Like just my whole body felt like. I can't even, and it was a good feeling. It was like a happy feeling. It was a loving feeling. It was like, I, it was great. It's great. And I still feel the rim, but it was strong. Like, you know what I mean? Like it came with a force and I'm still in it. And that's why I was just like, I don't need to be mad at no, like, it's just love. Like, you know what I'm saying? For, for those that deserve you know what i mean like not yeah. just all out and everything else is like okay i'm flattered and i'm turning my back to you it's it's i don't want it like and that's yeah. how i've been looking at it thank you but no thanks yes it's just a wonderful t- i'm telling you it's a wonderful experience and it's just like it's almost like it's coming full circle you understand it's almost like I feel so close to them that I almost feel like they looking at it come full circle through my eyes. You understand? It's almost like they just cheering me on now. Like, go ahead. We got you. You know. Right. Mm -hmm. A wonderful feeling. You know what I'm saying? It just felt real warm. Like, for me, it was just like a real warm little rush, little heart chakra. Just go. I'm like, look at the little ancestors on me. You know, it's a wonderful relationship and it can't be put in no book, man. You can't put no terms on that, bro. When the ancestors, them experiences, like, 
it's real watered down what they talking about because it ain't nothing like what they saying. Well, it ain't for me. Me and either. I, me either. And the way I manifest now, like my intuition and the telepathy and stuff, it don't work nothing like they say it. Like, I'm like, nigga, I don't know where y'all got these damn terms from, but y'all kiss my ass because it don't, it don't feel like what you said. It don't work like that. You understand? But hey, right. we're going to let them have they, 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 what they think it is. And we'll be over here with what we know it is. You understand? So I just right. tell. And it's like for me, like even before, like I got that feeling, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, and not knowing, cause I've been into like with this whole food thing, I'm like, I don't need it anymore. So I realized I went through about two months ago, like my brain was telling me to eat. And so I really don't. Mm -hmm. And it ended up, I went four days, no food, just like drinking my juices. Well, I juice it. So, you know what I mean? Making my mm -hmm. juices or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then like on the fifth day, again, my mind, I said, I said to my boyfriend, I'm like, I haven't ate since Sunday and it was Thursday. Mm -hmm. And so then he was like, you know what, you, again, my, our minds, you, you got to do something. He's like, I'll go pick up a watermelon. And so then for like three more days, I was just eating constant watermelon, watermelon. And then all of a sudden that feeling came. And I'm the not like, I've way. never been one to fast, like to say, you know how some people be like, okay, I'm going to go on a six day fast or a 14 day fast or whatever. Mm -hmm. I've never, ever done that. My body literally for like, it'll force me. I take these like, you went, on it naturally. You went on it naturally. Yeah. The spirit moved you to do it. Mm -hmm. God, Jay. Yep. Man, that's what food. I'm talking about. <laughs> I love <That's> food. The, <laughs> man, honestly, Jay, that's what I'm talking about. Like, this awakening, this experience, it'll have you doing stuff. You won't even realize why you're doing it, but you just will be compelled. Do yes. But it, I didn't even, it put me in a state where I didn't even want, like my body didn't, didn't want food. It didn't, you know how you be feeling you hungry. You hungry, you hungry. I'll be hungry. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't even never had that feeling. So then it, I think it was something to train my mind. Because now after that, like I may eat twice a week. Like, you know what I mean? Other than that, it's all fruit. Yeah. That's and oh I'm man, fine. we all own it, y'all. We I'm all own it, girl. We all own it because Empress, that's what I done been on too, like raspberries and stuff and um the little slushies and stuff. That's mm -hmm. about the best I can do right now. Yeah, for real. I can't. Oh, we all own it then. We all own it, y'all, because I saw another brother that's in our group. He done just been compelled to to just start fruit a fruit. He just doing a fruit fast. I'm like, it's just hitting us, bro. I'm just going with whatever the flow. You know what I mean? Whatever, yeah. however I feel. If you know what, if I decide to eat for the next, you know what I mean, have two meals a day for the next six days. Oh, well, I don't care. I'm not even tracking it that way, but it's just, I'm noticing like, it's more of me. I don't eat. I, which literally is placing the people in my household in the same situation. So they're fine that way too. They're realizing Listen, they're going a day or two or whatever, food. like with no food. Because I'm not cooking, you know what I mean? Every it's, single day. I'm not, I'm okay. like, it's every man for himself. And we all could use the blender. <laughs> it's that time, Empress. I'm telling you, you know what it is? Because that mel that reaction for our melanin and everything, it needs H3O, not H2O. And that shit come from fruit. Everything else we don't need. So all of that animal fat and stuff that's in the meats or whatever, or in the solid food even, we don't even need that right now. We just need hydration, nigga, because we going off a of straight energy. Man, it's finna hit us, bruh. We getting ready to power up for real. Because once our bodies get totally, like, totally energetic, feeding off a of straight energy and, and 
that just that, it's going to be a problem, bro. Ain't nothing going to be able to be around us that ain't right. It's going to instantly go. I'm telling you, these people finna start going out like in waves. Because yeah, it's our madness. minds mostly that have us doing, I'm realizing, like out of, you know what I mean? Patterns that we were taught to do that we, you know what I'm saying? Like even the whole eating three meals a day, it's like it was so ingrained and programmed in us. It's like, I, like, it was my mind telling me more than literally my body that I needed food. Ah, uh, shit. You know, and once you clear that and, you know what I mean, train, it's, forget it, you really, I don't think we, I know we don't need it the way we were taught we need it. No. You know, I we can't tell you don't what don't. you need, how you should do it or whatever, but I know the way I was taught that's not true. That's a, you know what I mean? I know that foundationally. I feel like this. Go with what your body feel now. Because all of the meals a day we didn't need, and if you think about it, they was hitting us at the times when our magnetism would be feeding off of something. When they told you to do that, eat in the morning, that's going to blunt your energy in the morning. You understand? Because you're going to be having to digest food, so then you can't think. When they told you to do it at high noon, that's when Ra is really out. That's when you're supposed to be really getting your sun rays in. You understand? But now you done diverted your blood again. Where from your brain to what your stomach? And then they hit you at night, right at dusk, dawn. You understand what I'm saying? And that puts you to sleep. And then you in a sleep haze with all of that damn sugar and shit your body processing that and then your blood is again diverted from what your brain to your bowels and stuff and then you can't get to the dream room they put us on a shift to shift our fucking mind and body so we gotta shift out of that shit and that's exactly what we're doing naturally on our own clock. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because ain't nobody said, oh, we finna do a fruit fast and everybody got together. Motherfucker just felt that way and start doing it. Right. Mm-hmm. Ah, Shay. So here go a post. I can't remember what his name is. Do anybody remember what his name is? Maybe it'll come to me, but I'm finna play this because it's deep. That melanin is the most powerful molecule in the human in the animal domain. Melanin is to humans like chlorophyll is to plants, like carbon is to uh, minerals. And so, even when uh, Asar is depicted green, he's not called the great green, he's called the great black. Green and black are synonymous with life. Nobody has the capacity to do what we can do. So that's why we learned basketball and we took it over. We learned football, we became the best. Everything we do, we become, we learned, you know, their way of music like that, and we took it over. We came. America's only classical music is jazz and African music. The instruments, sound, we imitated nature. We took it over. We could imitate any sound we heard in nature. Sometimes we could even do it with our voice. And then we develop the issue. So these strands of DNA separate us from everybody. I say, them strands of DNA separate us from everybody. He ain't lied. He ain't lied, y'all. He ain't lied. He ain't lied. So this is the last part of the um discussion I wanted to get to. I wanted to end on this post, then we could talk about this. So I'm basically expounding on what he's talking about. I'm talking about our melanin on a molecular level, which is carbon. So this is part two, and I'm talking about the split. So cosmic beings nature, the netter, what I'm telling you. I'm telling you that that cosmic radiation is coming in the form of hydrogen, that our planet is going back to a hydrogen-based planet. 
inorganic beings cannot take a hydrogen-based planet because they don't have the stereoisomers of carbon to be able to deal with that speed of an electron. See, we got carbon-12 because we come from the cosmos. So that cosmic energy that's coming from them protons, which is high in the form of hydrogen, which is the only element Everything else is a rendition of hydrogen, including carbon, but carbon is the form of our cosmic element to make us organic, to make our organs harmonize with the cosmos. You know, tribe is so simple. It'd be right here in our face. You just look at those two last posts you just seen. Look at the cosmic energy that's up there. Those are protons, and they reflect in a color, a hue. Understand, but the most purest form of light doesn't refract. Understand, we absorb that energy, but we pure light beings. Understand, and then we refract the auric hue. As above, so below, and depending on those hues is what, how sped up that magnetism is. And those is the chakra colors. We didn't get those colors by mistake. Those colors came from the energy of the cosmos, and we knew that we absorbed that radiation, and then we projected that magnetism out. That was our way of expressing that. So now you can over and understand what activation of the chakra that we are at. When you see in purple energy, that means we all the way at the crown, the most high, the most high. So, you know, to just end it on this, that's why the separation is occurring. That's why some of us is sped up now. That's why some of us is feeding with these protons now. And that's why some of the stuff that we manifest in is just happening because we literally is the keys. We literally is the jewels of my eye. We the jewels of this earth. We in harmony. <clears throat> we in tune with Mother Gaia in a way that these people are not and can never be. And it was never them. And now they're getting ready to have to come up from the caves. They're going to have to come up from that water. I've been showing y'all the water and told y'all that was one of our ancient temples up under there that had activated. Now they got to come out from up under there because they're not an etherical being really. So they can't take it, the energy that it radiates out. And the proof of this is look at the royal family. Why do you think that they're not at the Buckingham Palace? They kind never created that palace, bruh. That's why they up in there. And as soon as the real radiation hit, they all got cancer. And somebody like, yo, it's an inside job. The literal building is giving them cancer. Because the way that we designed it, it was designed to feed off of these hydrogen particles. Proteinaceous particles, radiation, bruh. So if you ain't got the carbon in the coals, that house gonna kill you. Do you over and understand? So now they're trying to go into these underground places and hide, but even the radiation is down there. There's nowhere they can hide. There's nowhere they can run. They gotta come out here into the sun. And that's why you're starting to see all of these different beings and stuff, skinwalkers and all kind of shit, because they got to come up now and face the music. <laughs> so that's it tribe. they gotta come up here and face the music they gotta come up here and face the music and that's what it's finna be any questions on that last post that I made that part to All right, I'm opening up the floor. If anybody got anything they want to share before we adjourn for the day, I think it was a good discussion. All right, tribe. Well, y'all go in peace, love, and light. Um, I'm going to post this uh, up on my YouTube and on the um, group page in a little bit. 
And um, tomorrow I'll be having a book club discussion at seven. Um, yesterday I had passed out of sleep, but tomorrow I'm going to be ready for y'all. So if anybody coming. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank y'all for coming and tuning in. Peace, power, and protection. Y'all stay dangerous.